Oh wow, this one looks like dad. What's up everybody, Anthony with Granddaddy Herbs, back again with another video. Super excited, if you saw the previous video, I absolutely smashed it in that clown clutch. And uh, at the very end, I stated that um, clutch number two is any day now. Well, it looks like a day later, I've already got one out of the three eggs that pipped. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this clutch now. So the pairing was a Puma female, first time pairing, first time breeding. She was bred to a Firefly Inchy Yellow Belly. Uh, she locked several times with him and locked once or twice with the Black Pastel Yellow Belly Crystal. So we'll see who the father is. From what I can tell with the pipping, looks like the Firefly Inchy Yellow Belly took this clutch. So we're just gonna have to stay tuned and see what the results. Now, real quick, uh, it was a 5-8 clutch. One was completely infertile right from the get-go and one of the other eggs went bad within the first week. So it was a bit of a rough start, but these three eggs made it. So hopefully we get lucky with the three eggs. I've had two eight clutches hatch out four and five bangers before, so you never know. So stay tuned. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna give a quick shout out and we'll get onto the egg cutting. So I wanna give a huge shout out to Jake. Pleasure meeting you. He just bought a Orange Dream Enchi off of me today and I uh, got to talk with him for a little bit. He's just getting into the hobby. Um, he's owned snakes before, but he's really, really pumped about what this community has to offer. And, you know, we were sitting there chatting this, that, genetic snakes, the community. So he's super excited. I'm super excited. And um, he got all back into it after owning snakes many, many years ago. He got all the way back into it because his son wanted a snake, more specifically a ball python, and now he's hooked. So huge shout out to Michael. Um, congratulations on your new snake, buddy. And uh, Sarah, you gotta help your big brother and you guys take care of those animals and have fun, okay? We'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned, let's watch this video of me cutting the eggs. Okay guys, so, <laughs> awkward spot to cut eggs. All my family's home, or you know, my wife and kids are home. So I wanted a nice little private spot to be able to cut these, so. Again, we only have a three egg clutch. We've already got one pipper that's really, really hacked this egg up pretty good. So, you can see, camera to zoom in for you guys you can see it's, it's got it all cut up real nicely so we're gonna go ahead and give these a cut and the reason why you see an empty egg box is because this clutch is mixed in with clutch number four since this only has three eggs and clutch number four has five eggs but once I cut these and I'm done filming I'm actually gonna put these eggs in egg box number one because they're all starting to crawl out of the uh, the eggs so without further ado Let's go ahead and get cutting on this clutch here. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and um, cut the one that's already been pipping. Um, it felt me moving, so probably a little shy here. It's like wiggling. Here, let me cut right here. Okay. So this one, this one already. I saw it sticking its head out earlier. So, oh, sorry guys, I think I got you guys off camera. My apologies. But uh, we're gonna cut a little bit of a bigger window. So, um, every baby will be at least spark or yellow belly. So, keep that in mind here. Let me get a little bit closer for you guys. Get this camera to focus. So everything will either be spark or yellow belly, and this thing's looking pretty sweet. What I can tell is, the father is definitely Enchi. Holy smokes, this thing's a screamer. Wow, what a beauty. That head is just nuts. And again, the reason why everything will be either Spark or Yellow Belly is because mom is a Puma, which is an axe like super. So, let's get that head out here for you guys one more time. Come here, little bugger. Yeah, there you go. And the uh, father was an exceptional, is an exceptional example of a uh, Firefly Inchy Yellow Belly. So definitely, this looks like it's a Spark Pastel Yellow Belly uh, from what I can see. But again, it's hard to tell Yellow Belly apart from, from Spark, but this just has a completely different look from the Pastel Yellow Bellies I've hatched in the past using the same, the same genetics, so. Wow, I'll get you guys a better look with the macro lens when we're done here. That is a cool looking snake. Now let's hope that's female and I'll, I'll maybe end up keeping that one here. So, egg number two of three. Happy with that first baby for sure. 
something about the pastel or the enchi gene that I work with and the pastel gene uh, is definitely top notch. There's a long history with the with the pastel gene that I'm working with that just throws some wicked looking animals. Ooh, this one's looking promising from what I can see so far. Uh, unless I'm looking at a snake on its belly. Trying to be careful and cut kind of slow and small. Don't want to hurt the baby. But I'm, I can see what looks like a white snake in here. Alright, we got a puma. I'm very happy with that. Um, see if I can cut a little bit more for you guys. Get you guys a better look. And again, I'll, I'll hook up the macro lens. Get you guys some better shots here. But I can knock this one off the bucket list of things I wanted to hatch. Okay. Alright. Just trying to keep this, this fluid in here. But let's hope that it's an Enchi Puma, which will be hard to tell. That's interesting. It's got like these little water bubbles. That's interesting. That's that's from the uh, that's from like the little egg sac. So that is cool, man. Uh, you probably can't see the lavenders, but there's a bunch of lavender in there. That's really neat. Wow, that's pretty. There you go. Okay, and we got last egg. No, it's not a super, super crazy exciting clutch, but it is to me. Um, anything with Enchi and yellow belly tends to throw some wicked cool babies, so. Man, this, <laughs> this egg is like full with the baby, that's for sure. So, do a little snip snip. These scissors are small, I'm definitely gonna invest in some bigger scissors here pretty soon. This one's kind of looking like the first one. Oh wow, this one looks like dad. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a bigger window for you guys. This thing is insanely flamed up. Holy moly. Dude, I am having a great season, man. This only being three eggs. Look at the flaming, come on camera. Look at those orange flames. Look at that. Holy smokes. Can't wait to see the head on this one. This one reminds me a lot of what dad looked like when he when he first hatched out. Oh, man, hoping that we can try to get a peek at the head. But my best guess, on this one, it's definitely got fire, it's definitely got enchi, it's definitely got pastel, and most definitely without a doubt, it's got either spark or um, spark or yellow belly. Now, I'm thinking this might have the spark also because of how different it looks from dad. It looks similar but different at the same time. And spark and fire together make what's called a grenade, which is an insane looking ball python. Kind of hope. You can see its head right here, like it wants to stick its head out. But look at look at the back of the neck, look how blushed out that is. So, I think what I'll maybe do is give these things a few more hours. Um, it's getting kind of late, but maybe give them a few hours, see if their head starts poking up and get you a shot on the macro lens. So, I'm gonna actually put it on right now to get you a close up of what I do have, and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys. As you can see, had amazing odds on this clutch. So it looks like we have a pastel enchi spark or yellow belly. I'm leaning towards the spark, but we'll have to, I guess we'll, I can't say we'll have to wait and see because you have to prove that out through breeding, unfortunately. So, but it's looking promising. So, um, and then I also hit a puma, which could have stuff hiding in it. We'll have to wait and see, but I know for sure it's definitely a puma. It's got all the patterns, it's got the lavenders. 
And then the last one is definitely a four gene animal. Um, it's definitely got fire, it's definitely got pastel, it's definitely got inchy, and it's definitely got either yellow belly or sparks. So um, we'll give it a shed. It looks very different than the dad though. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll post a picture when it comes out and I'll show you the comparisons. So maybe this one is a spark too, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, real quick before uh, we go out on this video, I'm gonna just show I'm gonna show you the two snakes that have already come out from Clutch One. The rest are, are uh, they're almost out. They're uh, just absorbing the last bit of their yolk and they'll be out. So thank you guys always for watching. Anthony with Granddaddy Herps. See you guys later.